Good evening guys, it's three o'clock, my school day just finished, I'm so happy because I'm out on the bike. So you may be wondering by my title, my bike fuse blue, how am I riding it? Because thankfully Yamaha provides you with spare ones. So I was installing some indicators or whatnot and I guess I wired something up wrong and it blew. But yeah, after that unfortunate event I'm going to Halfords now to pick up a spare one. Because thankfully they had spare fuses in the fuse box I could use. So I'm just going to Halfords now to pick up a 15 mini amp fuse or whatever. This guy might want to get on the pavement. What are you doing, dude? So obviously, how's your days been, you know? Hopefully it's gone good. Hope you had a good day at work, school, wherever you are. Personally, yeah, my day's been alright. Not been, it's been one of my quiet days at six form today. So I've been sitting around doing nothing really because I've done all my work and that, so... Yeah, but I wish I could have been out um, earlier to get a longer video or whatnot, but I can't, I have to stay in my sixth form, which is annoying, but oh well. As I've said in some of my previous videos, my next bike, I want to be an MT-07, right? What are your guys' thoughts on that? Like, is there any other better A2 bike like that? Because obviously I'm going to have it restricted to the A2 maximum, because then I plan on when I get my full license, you know, I can fully unlock the bike. You get me, yeah? Yeah, you're following me, I love that. But honestly, what's the best A2 bike which can be restricted? Because I've seen Duke 790s, they seem alright, or 690s, whatever they are, they seem pretty decent. And then the MT-07, that's the one I'm really looking at right now, because I want to get um, a like big stunt cage for it, because I want to do stunting on my bike. But the only problem is with the current bike I've got now, it's, it's a 125, it doesn't really have enough power to do so. Which... I love this 125, don't get me wrong, but it's just wish it had a bit more power sometimes, you know? Thinking about a sprocket, but honestly, with the engine size, it's got enough just to pull it up. Like, if I max throttle now, the bike doesn't even lift. If that was an 07, that would have just skyrocketed up. Like, I've seen some of the videos, and they've got insane amount of torques. Torques? Torque. There we go. So that's my thoughts for the 07. I obviously want to get a nice Acropovic exhaust. I think I finally said it correct for the first time there. But I want to get one of them. I, I love like a deep sounding bike. I, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got some new indicators there and there. Little sequential ones, I decided to put them on because one of my mates said in broad daylight it's very hard to see my LED strips. So I was like, okay, I might as well just spend an extra 12, 20 quid on these just to make sure I don't like someone rear ends me because they're not paying attention to a signal or whatnot. Not bad for 12 quid. They're flexible too, so if I ever do drop my bike and they land on the turn signals they'll just like bend i mean i want to learn how to wheelie my 125 now but it's a four stroke for a start and it's a 125 they don't have that much power like if i was to give it a bit of clutch like that and let the clutch go my bike doesn't lift it just stays how it is i mean that's that's just the problem with 125s and i could get a sprocket change I could get my ECU map for better performance, I could get an exhaust which which helps the engine get, I don't know, but you get the idea, I could do a lot of things to help me, like be able to wheelie this, but I don't want to go through the hassle of changing out a sprocket, getting a new chain for a bigger sprocket for a start, I don't want to be mapping the ECU because I don't want to void my warranty. I, I don't want to be all doing that. I kind of want to leave it as stock as I can without messing with the engine or any of the software or firmware in it. The most I'll do is add some things to my battery, which is what I've done. I've installed myself some heated grips, some and a dash cam, because that's bloody useful. And yeah, I don't really want to be tinkering with the engine, especially on a 125 too. Like, I'm not really going to be able to push a lot more, especially out of a four-stroke. If it was a two-stroke, 125 then by all means i could probably push 25 horsepower which is already double which you can definitely get the wheel up easy easily on a 125 two stroke but i've got my yamaha mt 125 four stroke which i love so much more and i wouldn't trade the bike for another 125 i love this one and i just don't want to have to continuously rebuild a two-stroke engine 
because that's what they're known for blowing up and I know it's the ride who does it and I know that's why I'd constantly blow the two-stroke engine up because <laughs> uh, by all means when I first got my four-stroke I was dumping the clutch oh goodness I was running it so badly a hundred percent if I had a two-stroke I would have blown the engine at least twice already so yeah I went with a four-stroke good old reliable gets me around it's a nippy too don't get me wrong but it just doesn't have that talk to lift the front wheel up and I know some of you are gonna say like oh but power wheelies are bad you need to learn to do normal wheelies I tried I genuinely did try I tried doing clutch ups with this I tried pushing down and pulling up it wasn't having any of it and before you say you had your traction control on I did turn that off and it just wasn't having it it was not pulling up so I thought to myself instead of getting these sprockets these chains whatever to help an ECU flash instead of getting all of that why not just wait a year save the money because a chain and a sprocket and all of that that'll probably cost me 150 quid maybe even 200 getting an ECU flash I'd have to go to someone that'd probably cost me another 150 100 so I was like, I can't be asked to do that. I'd much rather save the £400, wait a year, which, yeah, it's a year, yeah, it's pretty long, and get myself an MT-07, because that just that can just lift the front wheel off out of the box. Like, I've seen people in second gear just give it a throttle around 30 miles per hour, and it just, woof, it just lifts. It is crazy. And yeah, I get, I know power wheelies are bad because you don't actually learn how wheelies work. But at the same time, power wheelies are great for learning your balance point. Just being able to get it up just with the throttle is a lot simpler for someone who's learning. Because you don't have to put in the clutch, give it a certain amount of revs, drop it or whatnot. It's just, it's a lot easier to simplify it to a throttle and a rear brake. That's how I see it. Oh no, I've run a red light. <laughs> yeah, it's straight for me, don't worry why I would love to wheelie this don't get me wrong but that's why I'm not absolutely pouring my heart out into trying because at the end of the day I've got about a year left before <laughs> hey hello lad got about a year before I can actually get on a bigger bike and a year I don't think that warrants me spending 600 quid which to you it might do which is completely fair enough but I'm trying my absolute best this year to be as financially like responsible as possible because I know if I get a sprocket as well with the chain, which will help me get the wheel up, it will mess with my speedo. And I've done that with my Talaria, and I just, I just liked having an accurate speedo. It was so much nicer. But anyway, I'll say more of my thoughts, because honestly, I'm not done yet. I've just arrived at Halvard, so I'll pop in, get myself a fuse, and then we'll be chilling. Right, where can I park? I'll tell you what, I'm going to park over here. All right, how much are these fuses going to cost? Hopefully not a lot. Because I bought some 5 amp ones, they weren't that expensive. Just pull out of the car park, met one of my co-workers, Elliot. I might be able to see him. There he is in the car park. <laughs> but yeah, got the fuse, fuse fits, we're all good. Uh, turns out, like I mentioned earlier, there was a spare slot. So I was able to put the fuse in and we're all good now, thankfully. So if my fuse ever goes again, we'll be chilling. But yeah, what's your thoughts on crash cages or whatnot? Like, I want to, I'm get, I'm gonna get a crash cage for my 07 just because I want it to be protected. But then they, the impact tech that I was looking at, they offer the back ones too. Now, do I just get the cage, or should I get the back pegs too? Because surely, if I get the back pegs, then it will just full coverage pretty much. My bike will kind of feel immune like indestructible i know it won't be indestructible because metal can only withstand a certain amount but you get what i mean but i think the main reason why if i was to end up with an 07 is just because the amount of parts you can get for them hands down that's yamaha 07s mt 07s you know what i'm trying to say they definitely have the most aftermarket parts so yeah i mean grabbed some fuses today for my bike had a little chat about what i want my next bike to be almost home now so i'll save my outro now thank you so much for watching guys always ride safe drive safe even if you're in a car because you're never safe in a car but if you're riding please always wear the appropriate gear i love each and every one of you who watch my videos i hope all of you have a good rest of your evening slash night wherever you are have a good one take care guys